The chain roll just breaks every stock up evenly, puts it on the ground right below it. It's all staying right in place instead of being shredded and little tiny pieces that fly all over the place. So some of the challenges I uh, had been facing was the sizing of the residue and the de deterioration of it over the winter into the spring, uh, compounding that with the high yields we've been having. It's really, really dry. I mean, most of the time by fall, we don't really get a lot of rain in the fall, so trying to manage our residue and keep as much residue out there as possible to catch the snow catch so that we have good moisture in the spring to go into. Uh, with our heavy, tight, black soils, uh, no-till is really not an option in a cold spring. So you're forced to do aggressive tillage to incorporate some of that residue. And we're trying to reduce costs and reduce that heavy tillage requirement and make an easier management system. So really anything we can do to size residue and to get to break down quicker uh, in hopes that we could do less tillage in the future uh, and let more biology break that down rather than mechanically, uh, we would be in favor of that. So all our equipment, harvesting equipment, we just pay attention to how we're spreading the residue, whether we're harvesting small grain, soybeans, and corn. We want to make sure we get our residue evenly spread, and then we want to make sure it stays intact. Because once that residue starts to break down, it's releasing nutrients back in the soil and then it's also minimizing or stopping erosion. The chain rule helps set the stage for the uh, quicker breakdown of the residue for next spring to avoid any potential problems with the nitrogen tie-up. There's definitely a big difference in the spring because we can now use our row cleaners and move the residue just a little ways off the side without having any problems with it. You can actually offset the planter in the spring and go in between the corn rows. It really works well with chain rule. Chain roll was an easy purchase decision. We decided that this was a very economical way to get the similar benefit of a chopping corn head and spend a lot less money. But also, one thing that a lot of people don't talk about is it uses a lot less horsepower. And so we're able to get similar benefit without um, slowing down harvest. So we took one row on the side of the corn head and we put the chain roll. And what we noticed was kind of exciting. We saw not just the corn being broken up into sections and then crumbled a little bit to enhance the decomposition, but we noticed that the residue wasn't, wasn't just piled on top of the corn row, it was spread amongst the bulk. So this is kind of ideal what we were looking for without going to the elaborate expenses and more horsepower or some of the other options. Running the chain roll last fall certainly did have an impact on the spring's crop, especially with the cold uh, soil temperatures and any extra effort to help size that residue and uh, help the row cleaners move it to open up that black dirt in front of the seed openers was definitely had an advantage. We were very impressed. We are glad we put it on and probably would never go back. It works that well on our operation. A 360 chain roll was a successful purchase because it's equivalently priced with other rolls on the market. It does a lot more work than, than the original rolls that came on our corn head. It allows for faster residue breakdown. You know, we're, we're all about growing high yielding corn and the higher the yield, the more residue there is. So we like to, uh, to size that and have more biological activity break that down rather than tillage. So we accomplished several things, recovering our soil, we're allowing the residue to stay there because it's not in short sections to where it can wash off or blow off. And then also as the stalks start to decay, then it's releasing the nutrients back where they should be as opposed to just a big pile at the other end of the field or just right there next to the row. We see the chain rolls as an important part of what we're going to do is continuing to improve air residue management on our operation.